All right, so we got a really cool truck for you today. You've, this truck, actually, we featured back in November 2018. It's called the Bone Shaker. And we saw this up, up at the um, uh, at Trucking for a Cure in Woodstock. Uh, and it's run by uh, my friend Rick Hollywood Cop. And Rick sent me some new photos. So when I met Rick, I've known him for years. When I met Rick, we met at, uh, he, was, he, had, he was drag racing. He had a dragster at the time, had this Big, big, long uh, freight liner, I think it was. And, you know, one of those big sh trucks you see where the whole back is like a living room for the, the team. Big trailer. And he, he, he went, he got rid of that. He got out of the um, dragsters and he got into this jet truck called the Bone Shaker. And this is his own deal. And he goes around to shows. And then he sent me, so we featured the truck a little bit. And um, I'm going to re re-feature it here as well. But then he's got this really cool hauler that hauls it around so it's a small freight liner um double cabbed um uh hauler which is kind of cool single axle you know it's it, it, it's 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 not as fancy as some of our other trucks but it is really cool and if you see it underneath it he's got all these lights blue and green so he's got it really tricked out really nice you know it's a small model freight liner but other than that it's really well put out uh, lots of uh stainless and chrome he's got all the lights underneath it um, they're all patterned blue and green and everything. And then his trailer, he's got a trailer, which it, in the daytime is, uh, you know, a, a big, long, this thing's got to be about 53 foot, but it's uh, a lower, lower, uh, it's not as high as the other ones. And of course, this is where he, he hauls the bone shaker. It's his, his workout uh, area. He sells t-shirts and stuff in there, all kinds of stuff. So wherever he's got to repair the truck, it's all done there. So it looks really cool at night. It's got these giant skull graphics. His bone shaker is all about skulls and stuff. So he's got all of that on there and then at night this thing is also lit up so you really actually got to see this thing at night because it's um it's got lights underneath it lights all the way around it um he's and it, it's really really cool so uh it matches the the same paint job is on the bone shaker so it's really cool so it's a really cool hauler this is his uh truck and if you want to stay tuned we're going to have you tell them all about the Bone Shaker. So uh, stay tuned. And I interviewed Rick Cop about the Bone Shaker right here. We have Rick Cop. How are you doing? Rick? I am great. Thank you. And how are you? I'm good. So you're the Bone Shaker jet truck. So you were used to haul dragsters. That's what we first met. But now you're the Bone Shaker. Tell us about your people. Yeah, this is a 1982 International Grand Star. Uh, the cab. It's the fastest international truck in the world. Uh, <laughs> it's got a Phantom F4 fighter jet engine in it. Uh, it's got 18,000 horsepower. And then once you fire up the afterburner, it's 30. Six thousand. Wow. So how did you get into the truck? You were you were always in the truck. I know you actually drive a truck and you haul your cars around yourself, right? Well, yeah, but we're not <laughs> nothing like this. No, no. I ran Top Dragster and Nitro Funny Car yeah, for a couple of years, yeah. for many years. And uh, we just finally decided to get into the jet and, and we go across Canada and throughout the U.S. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So what got you here to a uh, cancer event just to help out the cause? Well, we're uh, participating down at uh, St. Thomas Dragway okay, yeah. about, about a month ago. Okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, day. the big rig day. Yeah, the big rig yeah. day. And uh, they invited us down and uh, I couldn't be more happy. Oh, uh, well, this is cool. It's nice to see you out in the event. Great to see you again. It's been quite, probably a couple years since we've seen each other, right? It has. It has. <laughs> You yeah, I gotta get hair like you. I gotta get one of these too, man. So, hey, can you fire that up for us? Can you give us a, are you even fire this? Oh, no. That would be not good. Well, but I can certainly do this. Yeah, that's that. That's that. All right, let's get this. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. We're all warm. We're all nice and warm. We're all nice and warm now, Mr. Bone Shaker. So, so, okay, so what do you, do you actually race against other people or are you just kind of warm? No, it's all exhibition. Yeah, we go out on our own and we do the afterburners, smoke stacks, all the lights, all of that, and we race on our own. How fast will it go? How fast? In a quarter mile, it's sitting on an average of 230 miles an hour. Wow, wow. On, on air. Gotta take my hook, gotta take my hair out. Oh, I don't have any. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I 
uh, on air search racing airplanes to be up around 300 miles an hour. Yeah. How do you get into that? You've been racing your whole life, right? Whole life. How, do you, how do you get into that? You just drove fast as a 16 year old? I know, uh, actually, I started to race <laughs> motocross when I was just, I was 10. Oh, okay. And I ran uh, for about eight years competitively with CMA. And then I moved on, and my father was in the hot rods, and one thing turned into another. And here we are. <laughs> you are a lifelong racer. So, how can people support you? Is it just coming out and waving? Uh, you guys, you guys are selling uh, shirts. Yeah, we got t-shirts and uh, hats and, and all that kind of stuff. really cool swag. And actually, we're running short with it right now. Um, but uh, yeah, and then BoneShakerJetTruck.com. Okay. And follow us up on Facebook and come out and see us. Yeah, you, you guys do a circuit every year. Do you do the same tracks or do you go wherever? No, we're all over the place. We're even looking right now. We've got uh, going all the way down to Mexico, oh, wow. Texas. Uh, we'll be in Edmonton next year. Uh, Vancouver. Wow. So, yeah, we've got a big, big, uh, big event uh, for uh, 2019. You got the light that the rest of us are looking for. Buddy, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right.